Good afternoon, dear hearts. This is Apostle Michael Davis Jr., the senior pastor of the New Testament Believers Fellowship Church. I was just uh, wanted to talk to you this morning and give you some encouragement. I'm just out and about. Uh, just got through taking care of some business um, uh, this morning, and uh, and glad to get that done. And on my way uh, to send that uh, stuff off. Well, I want you to know that we serve a God that is very intelligent. One who has stepped out on nothing and something happened. And he said, let there be, and it was, and it came to fruition. People of God, the scripture says that we should not be dismayed or afraid of where we try because we know that in this situation concerning this coronavirus, God will take care of us. Psalm 91 uh, states again that if we dwell in the secret place of the Most High, we shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, that He is our rock, our fortress, when in Him will we trust and it goes down uh, further and says that we trust in the lord no plague or anything will come near our dwelling so i want you to understand people of god that if you pray and you have faith in god in this time in this season of passover which we're coming to see, most major events that had biblical proportions always happen around the time of the Passover. So, looking at this situation here, we are in the season of Passover, where the devil will try to thwart the plans of God, and God has something big uh, in store for us. So people count it not strange that uh, we are going through this phase of where this, this scare of this coronavirus, this disease, this plague is out there. But I want you to know, if you trust in the name of the Lord Jesus, this plague will not come near you or your house. Our God, is an awesome God. He's a healer. He's a deliverer. He makes ways out of no ways and opens doors that no man can shut. He's a burden bearer, a heavy load carrier, a soul reviver, and a devil driver. People of God, I want you to be encouraged on today. Turn that TV off. As I've said in other videos, turn the TV off because all of the hoopla and stuff put on the television that's what I call the television I call it the hellavision because the television uh, could be putting things out that's full of hell that's can, that can disrupt your spirit and we don't want uh, your spirit disrupted or disturbed because the Lord said, Thou will keep ye in perfect peace, for whose mind is stayed on me, for they trusted in me. That's what he said. If you keep your mind on him, you keep your mind on Yahshua, Hamasiah, in other words, Jesus Christ, or Yahuwah, the Lord God. Keep your mind stayed on him, be focused on God, and not looking at everything around you. You won't have that experience of sinking. The Apostle Peter was beckoned to come out of the boat uh, when they were out in uh, the Sea of Gennesaret in the New Testament. Jesus uh, said, Lord, if it, if it, if it, if it be you, bid me to come. And he said, it is I. 
He said, come, Peter, or uh, Kaifa, stepped out of, out, of, out of the boat and began to walk on the water. But when the storm started and the waves started to go up around him, which, the, which was those marine demon spirits, those marine spirits were coming against him, he became afraid and he got distracted and then he started to sink in the water. And he said, Lord, save me. But what am I saying to you? Apostle, what are you saying? You have to keep your mind and your eyes on God. What God is saying and what God is doing in this hour. Well, Apostle, I never heard it this way. I, I don't know what you're saying. So it's like this. If you understand the laws of physics, uh, for every action, there is a reaction. So whatever you put out in the universe, it will come back to you. In other words, Sir Isaac Newton, he borrowed those, those uh, laws of motion uh, from the Bible, from the law of sowing and reaping. So says, what did it say there? Be not deceived, God is not mocked. Whatever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So if you reap good things, good things, if you sow good things, good things will come back to you. If you sow corrupt things, corrupt things will come back to you. Hallelujah to God. Jesus told Peter to come out of the boat. He came out and the marine spirits were against him. He was sinking. God saved him. In another portion of scripture, the storm was raging while they were out there in the Sea of Galilee. And Yahshua Hamasiaka said, Peace, be still. Because the storm was not of, of, of God. It was the enemy trying to keep Yahshua Hamasiaka from going to the Isles of the Gadarenes so that the man that was in the tombs could be free. So I want you to understand, if you are bound in your mind, it is time for your day of freedom and deliverance. You have to understand, people of God, that Yeshua Hamasiaka is on the boat and on his way to bring his delivering and healing hand to you. Don't be dismayed for this this thing, this plague of the coronavirus, but I want you to understand that Jesus, as the old saint said, is on the main line. So what are you supposed to do when, how the old saint said, when Jesus is on the main line, you're supposed to tell him what you want. Then you're supposed to call on the name of the Lord and tell him what you want. Glory. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. The Bible says that if you call upon the name of Jesus, you shall be delivered. Hallelujah. And what did Jesus say in Mark 16? Ah, he said, go ye all into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. They that believe shall be baptized and saved. And they that believe not shall be damned and these signs shall follow them that believe in my name in whose name in the name of the lord jesus will they cast out devils not cast in the devils but cast the devil out they shall pick up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it will not hurt them and they lay say lay hands on the sick Hey, Yababan say, and they shall recover. Glory to Jesus. I want you to understand, people of God, that you will have to have the authority in the earth to cast out all manner of sickness and disease. What did what did he say in the book of Acts? After the Holy Ghost 
has come upon you. You shall receive power. Hallelujah. Glory to the name of Yahshua. And when you got that power, that power helps you to live right. Helps you to do right. Helps you to be right. Helps you to stay right. Helps you to put the old man under subjection. For the Bible says that I beat my body into subjection to the will and way of God. You got to beat your body in a subjection and become that living sacrifice. For the Bible says, I beseech ye therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind to that good and perfect will of God. Say yes, hallelujah, bless his holy name. I'm excited this morning because I got the power of God in my life that can heal the sick and raise the dead and cast out devils for these signs shall follow them that believe in his name. In the name of Jesus, demons flee, demons flee, demons got to go in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah to God. Bless his holy name. Hallelujah. I want to encourage you today. You got power to cast this disease out. Power to cast out the devil. Power, power. Power to do right. Power to be right. Power to stay right. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, bless his name. Oh, bless his name, God. Bless his name. Bless his name, Holy Father. Oh, bless his name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm serious with God, people. For God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Uh, I want you to understand, uh, you got to get in your mind uh, that you got to put yourself aside uh, and see God. You got to look up uh, and see God in this situation. You got to say, God, uh, what are you doing right now? Uh, are you trying to uh, empower the saints? Because that's what God is doing. Uh, he's empowering the saints uh, and he's looking and booking uh, and seeing who trusts him. Uh, do you trust God uh, in this matter during this time of plague? Because uh, what did God say? Uh, when I see the blood, uh, I'll pass over. But you got to get in your mind uh, that you got to look up and see God. Uh, for I Isaiah 6 said, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. His train filled the temple. Hallelujah. He saw the glory of God. And in the book of Ezekiel, in the first chapter, in Ezekiel, saw the glory of God. And when he looked up, he saw the angels, the seraphims, which is called the burning ones, uh, and what they had six wings uh, and four faces each. Uh, and when he saw that, he saw wheels. Uh, and when he saw and looked up again, he saw a wheel in the middle of a wheel. Uh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. You have to understand, people of God, uh, this is prophetic what is happening today. Uh, this is prophetic. But what do you have to do in the situation? You have to prophesy the sit into your situation. The word of God. The word of God. For the Bible says, believe ye he. The word of God. And his prophets. Not some philanderer. Not some scam artist. But believe in God's prophets. Hallelujah. For he said, surely he will do nothing. Except to reveal his secrets. To his servants, the prophets. 
prophets. Hallelujah. How Israel came out. Israel was saved by a prophet. And Israel was saved again by a prophet again who laid down his life, who became the propitiation for our sins. And he was the one that knew that was righteousness and he knew no sin. He became that we would become the righteousness of God. His name is Yahshua Hamasiah, which is called Jesus the Christ, the son of the living God. Do you believe on today that Jesus saves, that Jesus heals and he delivers? For he said, I am even he that blotteth out your transgressions. And for my own sake, your sins will I not remember. He's a saving God. He's a delivering God. Don't you trust him? Don't you believe in him that he can heal your body and heal your soul? As he said to the woman with the issue of blood, who touched me? Because I felt the virtue come out of me. Hallelujah. And he told the woman with the issue of blood, this very hour, you've been healed. Go and sin no more. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. But you got to be in the situation. But if you are one of those out there that has contracted the coronavirus and Jesus healed you, don't be like the nine other lepers that didn't come back and say thank you to the Lord. Because in all things, we must give thanks unto God for this is the whole, this is the will of Christ Jesus uh, for us. Glory to the Lamb of God. Understand, people of God, this is to encourage you. Turn the TV off because the frequencies that you're listening to are of Satan. Because Satan is the one, is the prince of the power of the air. He comes to seek, to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus said, but I've already prayed for him that your faith will fail you not. <laughs> Glory to Jesus Understand, people of God, you're more powerful than you think you are, but all you have to do is trust in the name of Jesus. Trust in his name and believe in his name. For the Bible says that all that we do, we do it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and nothing more and nothing less, all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Believe on him. Whose report are you going to believe? <coughs> Whose report are you going to believe? Will you ever believe the report of the Lord or will you believe the mainstream media news? I urge you today, turn the TV off and go into your secret closet. And when you go into your secret closet, God will reward you openly. Do it right now in the name of Jesus Christ and pray for the healing of this nation because America and the world needs God's healing in the name of Jesus Christ. I urge you today, people of God that's listening to me under the sound of my voice, I encourage you and I implore you to employ your angels for he said he give his angels Charge over us, lest our foot would dash against the stone. Employ your angels. Pray and tell the angels of God to protect you against this coronavirus and against all dangers seen and unseen. And I want to tell you, people of God, I love you. I love you, but as a prophet of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, I tell you, what the words of God say, because I love you and I'm commissioned to do so. You be blessed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I love you. Like, subscribe and share this message.